for the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. In the recent past, we got the Knight of Wands and it's with the Will of Fortune. So the Knight of Wands, it's a great time for travel if you can get away. With the Knight of Wands, you're feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing and this should help reach towards any goals that is in the recent past. Now the Knights, they're often message bearers. And the messages are likely to be positive, could be related to work or career. And things are better than you had expected or predicted, or that's how things turned out. You would have had a lot of reasons to feel pride in the recent past. Now it's with the Will of Fortune. The Will of Fortune is a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's a good time, whether it's bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control, but even that's okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So for the recent past, like I said, we got the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands. So it looks like you probably, um, you could have been dealing with someone that had a lot of in and out type of energy um, because the Knight of Wands is considered someone who's really fearless, brave. This person could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, very confident type, very confident. Uh, this Knight of Wands, it is known as a player. Someone, someone could be a player here, really charming. And um, this person probably just didn't stick around. Now, because it's with the Wheel of Fortune, which actually means that um, this person could have been in a cycle where things were changing and um, things were at a turning point probably for you and this person so it was kind of like uh, this connection was it was kind of like gambling you didn't know which way it was going to go you didn't know if it was going to turn out to be really good or if you didn't know if it was going to turn out to be bad but uh, the connection was transforming it was in a cycle and you just you just kind of like took a chance on this connection so you didn't know which way it was going to go but it was going and this person they were always um, excited to come towards you now that's the recent past now let's take a look and see what's going on for the present time we got the ten of wands and it's with the nine of wands now, the Ten of Wands, if you can see the picture of this card, this man, he's walking forward and he's about to fall backwards. So, coming up in August, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. I say this because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're actually carrying, it belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to try to pace yourself coming up in August and try not to take on too much because um, it's with this nine of wands, which is indicating anxiety and worry, being burdened and keyed up over concerns. The first and the best step is to often take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so, because once again, at least some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So try to get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Comfort yourself, and if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it, because asking for help is the mark of a strong person. So coming up in uh, August, it looks like you, yeah, there's something difficult. It's a difficult situation or a difficult connection that you're in. Um, 
and it causes a lot of stress and you you feel like closing yourself off and be and become guarded this could be like I said a situation or it could be because you're dealing with someone that's causing you to feel this way so that's the present I'm sorry the present time for coming up in August this is the August reading now we've got the challenge which is going to be the two of wands and the seven of wands so two of wands with this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it often indicates a partnership with another person. So this could be business or personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If you're feeling out of balance, uh, just know that th things are about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. Now, the Two of Wands is with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, when this comes up in a reading, you're likely to find that any that in any sort of competitive situation, that you come out on top and things should be going really well. You should be feeling really good and your project should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt though, but now is gonna be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So your challenge coming up in August, Aries, Two of Wands and Seven of Wands. It looks like there could be a connection or you could be dealing with someone or maybe it's a situation whereas you want to, um, well put it this way, with this Two of Wands showing up for your challenge, it looks like it's, it's about you trying to make a difficult choice because two of wands it actually indicates that you could have two paths towards the future two options to take towards the future so there could be someone that uh, someone new or someone that you're dealing with they want to, this person wants to kind of go all the way with you. Because the Seven of Wands is about being the last man standing, coming out on top. So there could be someone new coming towards you like this. Um, they, this person might want to join you on your, on your path towards your future. But right now it's a could be a difficult choice to make because you got two options here. Maybe you're dealing with uh, two people and you're trying to figure out which one, but one of them or someone new could be coming in and wants to be the, is going to want to be the last man standing. They want to come out on top. They want to beat all of the other competitors. So that's going to be a challenge coming up in August. Now let's take a look at the outcome. We got this King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Now the King of Wands, it can indicate a man with hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. This person will want to be a mentor for you. Uh, the King of Wands is a very positive card in the tarot when it does not represent an actual individual in your life. It signifies that people around you, they're supportive of you and they think really well of you. So you could be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you have the will to actually to accomplish whatever you have in mind. Now, it's paired with the Ace of Swords which is about new beginnings in, of some sort in your life, possibly. 
on several fronts. Sometimes it's a new beginning. It can be started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a job situation, maybe a neighborhood, a relationship. Just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is really good beneficial energy. That's getting you to where you want to go. This Ace of Swords, it calls on you not to be afraid to make a leap if it's in our best interest. So your outcome, Aries, this King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So it looks like um, there's someone that you know, like this King of Wands, or could be this person for the this seven of wands could be this person we just talked about that that's going to want to be the last man standing or it could be someone new the king of wands so you could you could have a couple of people in your uh in the picture coming up you could have more than one person in the picture that's coming up for you in august um king of wands is it's actually really good though uh, this person, uh, they have a lot of caring and protective feelings about you. And this person is going to be willing to work hard if necessary just to make the relationship work. So, because it's with the Ace of Swords, there's something that needs to, there's some type of separation that has to happen though before um, you can really embrace this supportive and caring person that's coming towards you. Uh, maybe you're going to have to move your place of residence to be to next near this or close to this person or maybe you have to um, cut out the person that you're already with that's not working so well. Some type of separation that has to take place and then you get this great new beginning with someone that has caring and protective feelings towards you. Yeah, and this person, like I said, they will be willing to work really hard if necessary just to make the relationship work. So, that's a reading that I have for you, Aries. It's kind of like a general reading. Um, I don't see any cups here, so it looks like these are either new people coming towards you or, yeah, it's more so new people coming towards you. This, this person that's in the recent past is in and out type of person. It could even be them coming back. So, that's what I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. In the next few weeks. In the next